Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday's podcast. This is Lyle at CNS Corvettes. Wanted to talk to you today about one of the most common problems we see with C5 Corvettes, especially this time of year when everyone's sweating and concerned about air conditioning. Um, the majority of C5 Corvettes were equipped with something called C68 air conditioning. It's the one with a little electronic display in the middle, and it actually has dual zones so that the driver can have cooler or hotter air than the passenger. The way that the system does that is, under the dash, on either side, are these little motors. Each little motor, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, actuates a flapper door, okay? So you got flapper door here, more this way is hot, more this way is cold. So when the passenger decides that I'm freezing them out because I'm always hot and they turn theirs up, it move, this little motor actuates that door to allow more hot air onto their side of the car. It's a pretty cool system until it doesn't work and it's stuck on hot in August in Florida. Let me show you why that happens. This hole right here, right here, that's where the shaft for the flapper door goes in. Okay, so it moves like this. And it is actuated by gears. Now, this is a good example. If you look at this main gear right here, you can see that that gear is cracked. See, what happens in the original manufacturer, this plastic gear was pressed on to this aluminum fitting. And as that press, plastic ages, and shrinks up and gets brittle, it cracks. And that causes a gap in these gears. That means it can no longer spin all the way around, therefore it can't actuate. And it'll just hunt back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it won't be able to do what it needs to do. It usually sets a code on your car so that you know that it's bad. Sometimes it doesn't. This car didn't, but it was obviously bad. So the answer is you have to go in and you replace them. Um, there are several iterations of it available on the internet. Do not buy the $30 one. They say it fits your application. They are lying. It does not. The only one that's going to fit is most likely going to be a Dorman. And I've had very little problem with them. They're very reliable. And they actually have an improved internal design. And I'm going to show you the difference so you can see what I'm talking about. So, this is the original, this is the Dorman. First of all, you can see that they use plastic on plastic instead of plastic pressed onto metal. So the splitting problem is mitigated. Also, you'll notice that the indexing focal point right here is part of the assembly rather than something externally to the motor. So this is actually a much more updated, modern, and reliable design. They do cost about so anywhere from $100 to $150 a piece, as opposed to $30 for the wrong ones. Um, but when you do them with this, you do the job with this part, you only have to do it once. So if you're having that issue, uh, by all means, contact us. Or you're, well, you know, if you're not near us, contact your trusted mechanic nearby, and they'll be able to solve that problem so that your air conditioning and your heating and the combination of airflow all works like it was designed to. The only downside is, in order to do this, you have to pull the entire dash pad out of the car. Um, look back at our Facebook post this week. You'll see that our, that our bookkeeper, Camille, did a nice job of getting some pictures of Ray, our mechanic, doing this job. It's pretty deep surgery, but once you get in, get these things replaced, get them indexed, and put everything back together, odds are you're going to have a decade or more of trouble-free air conditioning. Any questions about this, please let me know. My phone number is 800 886 5064. Or if you want to email me, you can find me at Lyle at Corvette Parts, P A R T S Center.com. I look forward to your comments. Have a great weekend.